Hi everybody, my name is Elisa Bernstein. And I'm Stephen Leckie. And this is Vox Talks. Today we are going to look at Canadian politicians. We're going to analyze their speaking skills. Workers are no longer seen as the engines of our economy, as the men and women who drive growth and bring innovation to life. Today workers are portrayed as an impediment to profits, one that must be overcome and defeated. Thomas Mulcair, another strong speaker, of course, at this level, they all are. This is not a speech that's well prepared, though, and that's bringing up some issues. I would say to any speaker that's dealing with a text they're holding in their hand, they've got to be a little more familiar with it. You've got to make it more your own, and you've got to be able to look up fairly securely at your audience on a regular basis. I wouldn't say just robotically every line, but I would say basically certainly every second line needs to come up. And that means you need to develop the ability to actually take in what is about to be said, what has been thought and then said. So that means you look down, you have to be able to absorb an entire thought, which is basically a sentence, and come up and deliver it. And if you're not able to do that, you really haven't prepared the speech enough Right, and what's odd with this speech, uh, I find, is that he's actually going at lightning speed, which you'd think... <laughs> Why does he slow down if, he's, if he doesn't know well? Considering that he doesn't know the speech, yeah, yeah. that take your time, <laughs> look at what's happening next, and develop right, into that, as right. opposed to almost starting to speak the next line as soon as your eyes make contact with it. Very big mistake that people that are speaking on script make. They actually start saying the words, before they've embodied them. It's always this fear of stopping too long. I'm going to lose my audience. I'm not going to appear to be confident. And it's not true. Take your time. It's, we will wait for you. It's the exact opposite. You actually lose the audience because your barrage of words is overwhelming. And it also sounds detached. I've heard you use the, the term talking head. Very appropriate here. It's a talking head, in fact, not even a talking head, a reading head, really. Mm -hmm. And anybody could have read this speech as well. So things need to be done here to correct this. We're often going to be in situations where we have scripts. So start to practice for that eventuality.